Welcome back YouTube and welcome to FFTCG Authority's review of the Big Black Metal Box by Card King Pro. Now this is not an unboxing video, I've actually been using this for quite a while, but I wanted to do a review because it's really one of my favorite products and um, I think it deserves some publicity. There's really been no other review that I could find of it online, so I kind of wanted to throw that out there. Now, first of all, it comes with this giant sack case, so you can actually put this entire box inside this for extra protection. It's not really that important, but it is kind of cool that they give it to you. But let's go into the box itself. So it's metal, it's hard, and it's extremely sturdy. This thing is pretty heavy, but it comes with this heavy-duty carrying candle. There's really no way that this thing will ever fall off. And you'll see that this thing is actually jam-packed full of cards, and it holds up just fine. Um, on the bottom, it kind of has these little nubbins so you can set it down on the table. They're made out of rubber, so uh, it's actually really strong. Like If you put it on the table, it won't slide around because of these rubber knobs. And the quality on everything here is fantastic. You'll see that it even has it on these side ends, so you can even kind of put it upright like this and it'll stand just fine. Um, you'll notice that it has these latches on the side to make sure that the box doesn't randomly open on you. Like I said, it's virtually impossible. This, your cards are not gonna fall out of this thing no matter what, no matter how much you shake it or anything. And even the design is actually really nice looking. Um, you wouldn't even know that this is for trading cards. It was actually built for uh, Cards Against Humanity, but it works just fine for Magic the Gathering cards, Pokemon cards, Final Fantasy cards, whatever you need. So let's go ahead and take this lovely lid off. And you'll see inside that I already kind of have this thing jam-packed full of cards. You'll notice that it has labels. These labels come with the, uh, the whole package, so you don't have to buy them separately. Although if you run out, you can buy extras. And you'll see that I kind of labeled them Opus 1, Opus 2, Opus 3 for those of you who are Final Fantasy fans. And you'll see that the cards are all pretty snug in here. This is all just like raw bulk card. I'll probably start shifting some of these out and just put them into BCW cardboard boxes and only keep expensive cards in there. But I want to talk about how great these deck boxes fit in here too. So my setup, you can put cards here, but my setup has been to put four deck boxes in each of the uh, outer kind of tiers. And the inner thinner tiers are all for just raw bulk. Um, this has worked out really nice when I'm trying to like sell cards or something, it makes it really easy to find. And the protection here is great. And I left enough room where I could just flip through the cards and kind of see what they are underneath. Let's say I was looking for a Dragoon, I'll just pull it out. And this card has been in here for a while and you'll see that it's in perfect condition. Now I'm not saying go around shaking the thing, but uh, for long-term store, uh, long storage, it'll be completely fine. And these deck boxes are really cheap, and you'll see that even the labels I wrote in on the top, so here's Wave 1 cards, promo cards, erratas, legend foils. Um, that means nothing to you guys who don't play Final Fantasy TCG, but if you play Magic or something, you could write, I don't know, uh, Alpha, Beta, Pokemon, you can write Shadowless, whatever it is. And it just makes it really easy to kind of organize your collection in a secure and kind of good looking uh, storage box. Um, this is not a review of deck boxes, but I'll kind of show you like for my double sleeved cards, I kind of just put them into these deck boxes for an extra layer of protection. I mean, you figure double sleeving it, put it in a deck box and then also put it in this, your cards are basically indestructible at this point. So um, that's probably gonna be a really quick review. Um, I mean, it's a box, like I can't really talk that much about it. But I just kind of wanted to show you how I arranged my collection using this thing. Kind of go over the build quality of it. Like this thing is so sturdy. I wish I could, uh, maybe I can throw some books on top of it or something. My trusty World War Z and Java book. Like hold it for one hand so I'm not propping. Like nothing's going to happen to this box. It is solid metal. It's basically indestructible unless you take a hammer to it so anyways um that's my review of I, I just love the name too the big black metal box i hope this kind of shows you what your cards would look like if you uh kind of put it inside of this 
They also have kind of like three other models. One's longer, one's like easier to carry or something. This is just a generic one, and it holds maybe about 1,500 to 2,000 trading cards, depending on whether you sleeve them. Um, just so you know, sleeving your cards, it will still fit. Even double-sleeved cards, just take one of these out, it will fit right in there. So if you're kind of anal and you want to double-sleeve every single one of your trading cards in the box, it'll fit just fine. You'll just have less room for them. So anyways, that's my review of the Big Black Metal box. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. I'll even leave a product link there, so if you want to buy it, you can just click on the link. Anyways, um, thanks for watching the video, and have a great day.